Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Welcome back to our new week, to a new week. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. How was your party, Rodrigo? Wonderful. But when I drive to uh, around Ciudad Arce, yeah, big rain come, uh, comes out. So I have uh, maybe a torment about uh, 15 minutes until I, uh, I arrived to El Congo. Ah. Then the uh, rain stops and uh, arrive to Lago Cuatepeque with very calm, I think. Wow. I thought you were going to the beach. Well, to the beach at the lake. No, 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 no to the lake, Cuatepeque Lake. Ah, okay, okay. I prefer to travel on night because I know that I I didn't wake uh, woke up uh, in the morning of Saturday, so I prefer to to go on Friday, and because my my sister returns on Saturday. Ah, okay, also. I see. Okay, great. We have Israel here. Hello, Israel. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your weekend? Well, fine. Um, I have a reunion with my family in San Salvador. Um, and that's all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where do you live again? You don't live in San Salvador. No, I, I live in Puerto La Libertad. Ah, okay. I cool. went to El Puerto yesterday. Well, not really... to El Puerto, but to El Sunsal. Oh, mm -hmm. it was crowded? No, not really. Well, I, I would say normal, normal, the normal amount of people. It wasn't too crowded. And the good thing is that I didn't find any traffic on the way back. Um, Sometimes I've been, I mean, I've, I've traveled to the beach on Sunday and in the afternoon it's really terrible but yesterday was really I mean there was no traffic at all actually so I was very very happy about it at what hour you start your return to home return around home? 3 3 p.m oh early yeah yeah because I I I, I know that Sometimes when the 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 later you stay, the more traffic you find. So that's why I decided yeah. to come back early. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yes. I see Gilberto. Hello, Gilberto. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. You look different. Did you have a haircut? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You look younger with less hair. <laughs> As we say in Spanish, cuando nos cortamos el pelo, nos quitamos peso de encima, ¿verdad? Yes. So... <laughs> Rebecca, hello. Good evening. Are you a listener, Rebecca? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. No, I, I, I participate. Okay, great. How are you? Good. Ready to start a new week. Okay, me too, me too. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And these this last weeks of the year are more motivated. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because we because we are waiting for a extra payment <laughs> for the aguinaldo you mean <laughs> that's right uh -huh. that's, yeah well there are many things i guess that people are 
looking forward to in these days, you know, vacation time. At least I'm looking forward to vacation time. Um, also, uh, some projects for your house, like in my case, uh, I'm planning to do my Christmas decorations probably next weekend. Um, so, yeah, many things, right? Let's see who else is here. We have Andres as a listener, Gabriela, hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Lady, you're back. How was your graduation party? Uh, very fine. And now you sound sick. Sí. <laughs> Did you get the flu over the weekend? Yes, I am very sick. Yeah, you sound sick. Well, I hope you get better. Thank you, Miss. Let's see. We also have Mauricio. Hello, Mauricio. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, teacher. Welcome. Teacher, I will be. I will be listening just for a few minutes. Okay. 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 Thank you. Mm hmm. Let's see, nobody else? No. Okay, well, everybody, I'm glad to hear or see you um, once again. This is our third week, right? Um, and well, today we're going to continue discussing, a, well, I don't know if you remember, <laughs> but last Friday, uh, we finished our lesson with some vocabulary, okay? So, well, you had some presentations as well, but uh, we checked some vocabulary. And today we're going to keep uh, practicing that vocabulary through some other activities, okay? So let me show you here, but I think I'm going to check attendance before we get into our uh, our content for the class. And also I want to just remind you that this is actually on third, this is the week three. So at the end of this week, we need to take the midterm, okay? The midterm, as you know, is the, let's say, parcial, right? Uh, which is in, in the platform. Um, For those of you who have been here, more than two modules, you know that we take a midterm and we take a final exam, right? So at the end of this week, we need to take the midterm, okay? Which is in the platform. Let me show you quickly here. Let's see, let me see. One second here. I have too many things open. Okay, I'm going to share the screen again. Okay, so, well, here we are in section two. If we click here, we're going to see the midterm, okay? So this is the one we need to take at the end of this week. And also this week, eh, we're going to finish working with unit two because unit two takes two weeks, okay? We started it last week and we're going to finish this coming Friday, okay? So this is the midterm. 
just in case you hadn't checked it, I wanted to let you know, okay? So you can get organized to take it by the end of this week. Okay, let's check attendance before we start our practice for today. Let me see where is the attendance. So, Give me one second because I hadn't opened it yet. Okay, here we are. Danny Anthony, Siwensa Ventura. Present teacher. There you Good are. evening. Good evening. Just on time. <laughs> Gilberto, yes. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Jose Andres Martinez Perez. He will be a listener today. Jose Israel Martinez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Eh, Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. I hadn't seen you. Good evening, Julio. Uh, Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura. Present teacher. Let's see, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Leticia Realejeño González. Okay, not yet here. Um, Mauricio de Jesús Buruca Velasquez. We are here. Yes. Mauricio, he's a listener for right now. Eh, Rebeca María Cardona Juárez. Your teacher. Thank you. Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. Okay, he's a listener. Eh, Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez. Sofía, are you a listener too? I see you there. Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. Present teacher. Okay, great. Thank you. Well, um, so let's now go on to our content for today. And as I was saying, we're going to keep working with um this part. See. Okay, so this is a vocabulary we checked last, last class, okay? Uh, regarding, in this case, uh, with, I mean, regarding the use of uh, the adjective plus enough, and also, um, we if you remember, we described these brands, right? And after that, we use this vocabulary to describe a, other products, actually to tell a story, right? We created a story where we used um, adjective plus enough and also some of these uh, words. I, I ask you to include at least two of these. Uh, Hello? Yes, teacher. Hello? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, um, so we're going to continue working with this vocabulary, as I said, and this time we're going to start by um, working on this on this activity. Um, well, it's your turn talking about the vocabulary. So we're going to label the examples of elements found in a product strategy using the questions from the box, okay? So um, in this case, we're going to work with, a, a, like this is going to be a role play, okay? So we have, a, we have created a product. This is our scenario, let's say. So we have created a product 
And we're going to answer these questions. How would you distribute your product? Who are you selling to? What value do you provide your customers? What are you selling? And how will you price your product? Remember that we have been talking about pricing strategies. Uh, we have read about pricing strategies. So there are some, some words or some strategies that we already know. If you want, you can go back to the article and check those strategies in order to provide like more information. Okay. Now, um, in the in the activity, we have some example answers, okay, that we're going to match. But then we're going to work with our own product, okay? So first, in order to see how you could answer the questions, uh, we're going to match the answers that we already have here, okay? So um, let's do it together, okay? Let's do this part together, and then uh, we do. You do your your own. You do it with your own product, with your own scenario, your own information. Okay, so let's just start with the first question. How will you distribute your product? How will you distribute your product? So this is the question, and we need to look for the corresponding answer. Okay. Uh, Rodrigo, can you help me read the, the first answer, please? We build quality kitchen hardware for residential kitchen customers. Okay, so does this answer match the first question? Is no. this? No, right? Uh -huh. So if we focus on the answer again, we build quality kitchen hardware for residential kitchen customers. This answer is, is for question Aha, uh -huh. let's look for the question, please. Which question? I think is about the value. About the value. Uh, what value do you provide your customers? Mm, actually, okay, focus on the on the let's focus on the, the main idea here. We build quality kitchen hardware. Okay, so basically here we are describing what our product is. So what is our product? Kitchen hardware for residential kitchen customers. So this is like the most basic question, right? Which question? Which question do you think it is? Is what are you selling? It is, okay. Uh, it is, uh... um, I'm sorry, I had to mute. Let me see. I think Mauricio has his microphone on. Danny, go ahead. I'm sorry, I had to. Is uh, I I think is the question is uh, what are you selling? Very good. is the 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 first uh the first answer. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. That is the first a uh, question. Okay, because here the answer is about the product. Okay, we are talking about the product we are selling. So in this case is quality kitchen hardware. Okay, kitchen hardware. Uh, I don't know. Yes, Roberto, go ahead. Uh, the second question mm -hmm. and the second answer is, who are you selling to, I think? Ah, okay, let's, fo let's check the answer together. Let's see, it says, our customers are young North American families who want kitchen hardware that can stand the wear and tear, the wear and tear of young children. Aha. Uh -huh. So who, in your case, Roberto, you say that is who are you selling to? Yes. Okay. Definitely the people that you are selling to are your customers, right? 
So the question is, who are you selling to? Okay, very good. Who are you selling to? Mm -hmm. Now, um, let's look at the third answer. Uh, Gilberto, can you read the, the, the answer number three, please? Okay, they are interested in marital that are safe for children and eco-friendly. Okay, according to this answer, everybody, what would be the question? In this case, uh, the question is uh, what value do you provide your customer? Okay. What value do you provide your customers? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in this, in this specific example, uh, what would be like the very value that they are looking for? What is the value? Uh, the cost, the product. Uh, no, not exactly. The value is, uh, let's say, what customers are looking for, like what do they need, what do they want? And in this case, they want materials that are safe for children. So the value is safety, especially for children, and also eco-friendly, right? That the material okay. is eco-friendly. So those are the two uh, characteristics, let's say, that make the product valuable to these customers because that's what they are looking for. They are looking for safety and also they are looking for eco-friendly materials. Okay. Mm -hmm. eco so value, value in this case, everybody, is not the same as cost, right? Because value is a more, it's more about a, the needs of the customers or the, the wants what the customer wants, right? Okay, now we have the fourth uh, answer. Rebecca, could you please read uh, answer number four? Uh, we sell our products through a retail channel. Okay, through a retail channel. That would be the question, the answer to the question. Which question? Is how will you distribute your product? Okay, how will you distribute your product? Very good. So we write it here. How will you distribute your product? Okay. So in this case, we use, if you notice, uh, we are, they are using this technical word, which is channel, right? Channel. This is a, a, a term that we use um, when we are talking about distribution, right? We use this word, the channel for sales. Um, okay, and the last one, of course, our products are priced per unit and are considered high-end hardware solutions. Now, I want to check if you remember, because I, re I remember I explained this, uh, this word or this phrase last week. When we say, okay, let's, let's pay attention to this part. Our products are priced per unit and are considered high-end hardware solutions. What do you think we mean here by saying high-end hardware solutions? The question is for everybody. Who would like to answer?
Who remembers what is the meaning of high end? Uh, it is a uh, good, good product. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, that is a, a definition. Rebecca, what was your, I don't know if you wanted to participate. Uh, our products that is that that which are high quality and uh -huh. higher prices too. Okay, very good. Yes, that would be a little bit more specific, right? Yes, high quality and high and of course high price as well, right? That's why they are called high end because they are at the top of the quality, but also at the top of the price, right? Um, okay, so in this case, we would answer, we would uh, be asking the question, how will you price your product? How will you price your product. Okay, good. So now we have completed this example where we have the questions. I mean, there is a product, right? This is what we start with. The product, in this case, the product is kitchen hardware. Okay. And when we say kitchen hardware, we're talking about um, the kind of furniture that goes into the kitchen, right? Uh, where you put away your china, your um, everything you need for cooking or uh, your food as well, right? So that's the kitchen hardware. Um, the sink uh, and everything that goes, in terms of furniture, everything that goes in the kitchen. Okay, just so you had any question about the vocabulary here. So this is our example. And now let's see uh, what we are going to do using this information. Just give me a second here, I'm going to delete this. Okay, um, well, we're going to, this is what I was telling you at the beginning. Okay, uh, in pairs, we're going to work with these same questions, okay? The questions we have uh, from the previous activity, and we're going to think of a product, right? And we're going to be answering the questions uh, just like we did in this exercise, but using our own strategies, right? Uh, so here is the instruction. Choose a renowned national product or service and identify its product and price strategy components, okay? Um, of course, when we talk about that, product and price strategy components, we use this vocabulary, okay? The design, the after-sale services, the brand, the features, product positioning, because that has to do with um, with product strategy and price, product and price strategy, okay? So we can use that vocabulary again. Okay, are we clear on the task? Are we clear, everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, okay. clear. Okay, thank you. Now let's let's start organizing our groups, okay? Well, pairs. I prefer pairs because uh, you can be more, part, more, more active when you're working in pairs. Okay, so let's prepare. We're going to make some 
pairs here. Let's see. We're going to make 10. Okay, Andres is a listener, Danny. Alberto. Lady, are you participating? Lady. Okay, I think, let me check. Thank you. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm not sure if Mauricio is already participating. Mauricio, can you confirm? I see. Okay. If someone doesn't have a partner, because for example, I added Mauricio, but I'm not sure if he's participating. Uh, I will make a different group, okay? So let's see. Okay, let's take, um, well, since we already have the questions, remember the idea is that we're going to think of a product and think of how we're going to answer the questions based on the product, okay? So, okay, we're gonna take from five to 10 minutes to prepare our uh, ideas and then share with it with the whole class. Okay, so from five to 10 minutes and I'm going to see you in your rooms, okay? Gabriela, can you join the room? I don't know if you have technical issues. Okay. Well, 
pues sobre carros, la verdad, yo no sé mucho. Pero de marca. Pero creo que, que nos pueden, creo que lo podemos, podemos discutirlo y ver qué, qué información podemos dar. Lo que tenemos que desarrollar, si no estoy mal, son las preguntas que acabamos de ocupar para... El ejercicio anterior. Ajá. You're right, Sofía. Those are the questions. So we can talk about who are you, no, what are you selling? And mm -hmm. we can say that it's a brand of, of, of cars, consider it high end. And my suggestion is a car, but I asked about the another option maybe it could be a uh, another product easier i think we can work with this with that okay so in this case the first question is what are you selling to what are you selling Mm -hmm. The first question in the order. Yes, we can say uh, we sell or we are we are selling a car which brand is considering considering high end. High end. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sería, what are you selling, verdad, la primera? Yes. Are you... Elegir el producto renovado. Choose the renewable national product. This is... Um, I don't know. Um, un producto renovado. It's a... Uh, Ah, ya la mandaron. Ah, oh, no. Elements found in a product strategy using in a question dice, from the box. Dice, eh, eh, no, nos puede compartir de, de manual. Ahí está. Hello, hello. Uh -huh. Eh, nos puede compartir el de mano en el chat dice y de de par eh, where, where is the strategic component ah I already shared it yes can you see it Is the is the worst the 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 past class? Aha, uh -huh. yes, yes. The vocabulary, the vocabulary we check last class. Yes. Mm -hmm. Last class is yes, last class. Yes, last class. I last. I already shared it in the WhatsApp group. Can you see it? Uh, okay, teacher. Aha, uh -huh. in the WhatsApp group is is the in the I I shared the list of questions and ah, okay. vocabulary. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Uh -huh. well, this, uh -huh. After the service, brown fitness product position. Do you have I, a uh, yeah. Did, have, you, have you chosen a product? Uh, not uh, yet? Aún no, aún no, pero... Okay. Uh, ahorita mismo. <laughs> no, <laughs> okay. no sé. Go I'm ready. <laughs> You're ready. Okay, I'll see you later. Ready. I'll come back later, okay? Okay.
Gaby, is a choose the, the national product. Mm, I think. La, la onda de la brand image. Okay. The brand image. Proposals are often associated with cultural identifier, etc. You really ah. love pupusas, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Who Teacher. doesn't? Teacher? I know. Well, I heard one person, I don't remember who, but this year I heard one person say that they don't they don't like pupusas. It's not a Salvadorian <laughs> Probably. Okay. So you already chose your product and you are answering the questions. Good. I just wanted to check what part of the task you were doing. Okay. So I'll see you later. Teacher. Uh -huh. uh, we can use an I for resolve uh, this task. Artificial intelligence. Ah, is like for what is, exactly? Um, <laughs> uh, uh -huh. for, for the present task. Well, <laughs> I I think it's better if you if you try to do it on your own because you practice. I mean, ChatGPT is going to give you the answer. But in that case, you will not practice the part of putting together your ideas because that is how you develop the language by, um, you know, um, putting your brain to work in terms of organizing the ideas that go into each sentence, like which, book, which uh, new word you can use and so on. So maybe, I mean, ChatGPT gives you the answer and you can read the answer and that way you're practicing like the pronunciation. But that's it, right? There is no other effort in terms of putting ideas together. What do yes, you think? I understand. Uh, but uh, we can use um, for... Um, um to uh, to take an an idea uh -huh. uh, we can uh organize of of the order wait well the, the the what you can organize the the uh, in in an order form mm. yeah. Okay, well, you can try it, but my my recommendation, my advice will be that if you want to, you know, develop your language, it's good to do it on your own. That's my advice, but you can try it. If you're curious, go ahead. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Don Gilberto, did you have any technical issue? Yes, teacher. I have a problem with the internet. Ah, okay. Well, let me let me um join uh, have you join your classmates. Give me a second. Two. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm.
Mauricio, are you going to participate? I can move you to a group. I think he's already in a group. Let me see. For the residential, so in this case, we're selling shoes, heels, boots, sandals, and uh, etc. Also, uh, se me ha ido el nombre, pero Adobe vende las plantillas, las pastas, spray. Sería como part, part of different shoes. Eh, pero el nombre no le hay. No, es, no sé si sería cut, cut, goes, cut, goes. Algo así creo que va asociado. Mm, espérame, also. Eh, leather, 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 leather goods. Like, teacher, how do you say plantilla? Um, I think it's shoe liners. Shoe liners. Shoe liners. Mm -hmm. eh, junto. Eh, no, separate. Separate. Eh, shoe liners. Mm -hmm. Sería shoe or shoes? No, shoe. Shoe, 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 shoe liners. Shoe liners. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, like shoe liners, uh, belts, belts, and quiero ver. Uh, and book bags, bolsones también. Ah, sí, backpacks. Ajá. Backpacks. Backpacks. Okay, back. And the last one, how will you price, how will you price your product? How will you, you price your product? Uh, uh, for the example, our products are priced per unit and are considered high-end hardware solutions. So in our case, the same. It is the same. The, the last, it, we are changing the answer. The Products. We are planning to distribute on different sales stores. The products are priced per unit. Remember that high end is a product. For example, if we are talking about shoes, I would say that high an example of high end shoes would be um, brands like. Like Nine West, um, Prada, Louboutin, those are high end brands. So, in this case, if we, if you are saying that you will, you will distribute to Pardos, Adoc, etc., those, uh, those I would say are high end. So you can say, for example, that they are, um, I don't know, average, average price for, I mean, price for the average consumer. I don't know. But uh, when you are talking about a dog, uh, they have many different prices from the, for the economical ones. Mm -hmm. to the high end like hush poppy or or oh, Hartland, yeah. for mm -hmm. example aha uh -huh. hush puppies could be considered mm -hmm. uh -huh. the uh, high end mm -hmm. uh, hush poppy and caterpillar okay uh -huh. caterpillar, caterpillar yes but if you talk for example like adopt 5000 
fracos, etc. It's uh, economical to medium people uh, and medium and average 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 uh, consumer. Mm -hmm. uh, average consumer. Okay. Yeah, that's 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 a difference you can make. True. We mm -hmm. we can use um, high end. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Second. Okay, yeah. you're almost done, right? Let me see how yes. your classmates are doing and then we go back. Okay. Um, but uh, and, and the second question is uh, who are selling to? A quienes le vendemos los papas? Ah, I ah I selling or um, product ah uh, the children adult. Um, is all is all uh prefer the old brand and the uh, image the old product and and the and the and the and the like and the and the product mm. and the the three question is uh what value do you provide your customers no pero no sé cuál es el value Le proporciona. What is your value? Sorry, what is your product? The it's chips. Chip. Chips. Yes. Chips. No okay. papas. Potato chips. Okay. Potato. Mm. Yes. The value in this case has to will well has to do or it can be related to, for example, the taste um also mm -hmm. if there are like different uh -huh, different types of tastes a uh, natural flavor exactly uh-huh if they are low low sodium for example um yes something like that uh okay. if a healthy mm -hmm. a healthy choice like you you have some that are healthier could be. So, okay, I'll be back because we need.
Hello, what happened to Israel? No, I don't know. Uh, if Did he leave are... the meeting? Let me check. Okay, maybe in the um, principal chat. Mm -hmm. Give me one second. Thank you. It looks like he disconnected. Well, but I see he's still in the meeting. Okay. Uh the, were you able to advance on something? Yeah. You finished? Uh, no, no, no. Um I am I How am many? making a change in that structure. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Which questions were you able to answer? Mm -hmm. Book question. Uh, let me see. It's not questions. It's two items. Choose a renowned national product or service. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So the first question is, what are you selling? All right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In your it case, I heard you were talking about pupusas. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. And then, who are you selling them to? Ah, oh, teacher. Sorry, I don't. Uh, I don't understand that. Uh, it's like uh the exercise. How would you distribute your product? Exactly. Uh huh. So you uh -huh. you're going to be answering the questions. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. in that I correct this. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Well, um, I think we're going to have like maybe three more minutes and then we're going to go back to present, okay? Okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Lo logró compartir en el chat del, del Se WhatsApp. lo pasé a usted a su chat, don Gilberto, porque ahí encontré su número. Ah, ok, gracias. How are we doing? We are ready. Yay, bravo. Great. Ok, I'm just waiting for some of your classmates because they haven't finished yet. So in, well, maybe two, two more minutes, we are going back and we're going to present, okay? Okay. Israel, do you have any technical issue? You left Julio alone. <laughs> what happened? Yes, I had a problem. My cell phone shut down because I had problem with the, the battery. Ah, so okay. When I, when I plug it, when I plug it again, uh, I was alone. Oh, okay. Well, um, he's almost done i think and we're coming back to the main room in like one minute so that's why i'm not gonna make you go back okay but just checking thank you mm -hmm. let me see who else is ready here And that give uh, give us give us give us and uh, that give in us. the chat and the in the chat please okay the, the next 
the next idea the next idea is the the five questions the five question it is how will you price your product That is the last question, right? How would you price yes. your front? Okay. Yes, teacher. What is the question, Gabby? <laughs> Ahorita voy. <laughs> is how, how will... Uh-huh. How will you price your product? Ah, it's a bad price. It is a very expensive uh, for my salary. It is a, it is a good brand, uh, but it is a expensive uh, for my salary. Um, this is uh, the 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 good the the good potato yes, chips. Yes, yes, yes. uh, but but it's uh, uh expensive for my salary. Remember, you are the you are the seller. So when you say it's not. It's expensive for my salary. It sounds like you are the customer, but you are the seller, Danny. It's more well, shit. It's... <laughs> you need to think about. You need to think as if you are selling the potato chips. So you mm -hmm. can say, for example, we in terms of price, you can say we will sell them, or we will distribute them. I don't know, pair packages to the convenience stores, uh, or you can sell them per unit uh, if you have a convenience store in your house. But usually uh, the, the companies that sell this kind of potato chips, they sell them by packages to the convenience stores, to the supermarkets, right? Okay. So it's I'm just giving you an idea. This is the distribution channel. This is the uh -huh, exactly idea. you can you can talk about that. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it is the first uh the first question. Who will you distribute uh your product? Ah, okay, so, yes, you're right. So in terms of price. Yes, it has to be related to like if you're going to sell them per unit or per package. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. per, per, per unit or package. Mm -hmm. it, it is uh, uh, the two fours, is it, it is a very good uh, distribution channel. Mm -hmm. It is a uh, Super supermarket channel. This is the right uh, idea. No, no, no. Supermarket what? I'm sorry. This is the supermarket channel. O sea, this is the this is the medio for the distribution uh, of ah, products. Yes. yes, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yes, you, ah, can, okay. you can use that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is, okay, uh... we're gonna go back in thirty seconds. Okay, so just okay, make sure you dance, it up. dance okay. for idea. Picture. Dance for idea. Okay. <laughs>
Okay, everybody, I hope everyone was able to finish. I know some of you were a little bit ahead. Some others were still working on it. That's why I tried to give you a little bit more time so everybody could um, finish up, okay? And well, I, I know that at least everybody has a product in mind, right? And based on that product, we are going to continue answering the rest of the questions. So let's see. Okay, I'm going to start with, um, let me see, someone whose name starts with A. Okay, let's see. I see, for example, Two candidates would be, okay, Julio Aristides, Danny Anthony, okay? I was looking for someone whose name starts with A in the alphabetical order. Danny, Danny Anthony. Okay, teacher. <laughs> okay, teacher. Uh, we choose the uh, Innovate National Product. Renovet is a uh, potato chip. Potato uh, chips, okay. Uh -huh. uh, 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 our distributor channel, the potato chip, is a uh, supermarket channel. Okay. Is, is the, the price, the old product, is, is, is very good. Is 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 the 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 price is very good for the old people. Is is a is is a barato. No sé cómo te dice. Well, I the word is y, cheap. Y, um, cheap. Chip. Uh huh. Chip. Yes, you can um, say. Um, Gabi, Gabi, what value do you provide? Uh, the all potatoes, uh, the chips, um, all customers. The value for the customers, uh, the of the product, the all product, like. For me, is the feelings like the harmony, like with your family, your friends, you're eating the potato chips. But the value, the the form material, like uh, like being, no could be a, a potato, natural potatoes, <laughs> oil salt or different uh, ingredients I don't know uh -huh. like uh, like that for the the flavor to the potato chips are 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 B uh, are delicious for the people I think mm -hmm. the next idea uh -huh. Daniel <laughs> Uh, I do the product position. Is is the is is the value? Is is the uh, is is a very potato? Is 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 a hair in the for? Is is a very good material? Is is a uh, the product position? Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, only that teacher. Okay, just give me. Okay, let me check. So, uh, what are you selling? Potato chips, right? Uh, yes. who are you selling to? Did you? Ah. Uh, ah, uh, uh, and the. Uh, uh, we are the this is the, all the people. Okay, to everybody, people from 
all ages, let's say. Okay, and the value, you said that the value is like sharing with everybody, sharing with friends, sharing with families, right? And also, uh, I think Gabriela mentioned the taste, right? The flavor. Yes, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also the, the type of ingredients, right? In this case, because it's potato chips, uh, some people um, sometimes are looking for healthier, uh, for example, a, a healthy type of chip, right? We know that. Okay. Chips are not healthy in general, right? But uh, companies have a healthy choice, healthy alternative, right? So that could be uh, a value that we can offer. This is only an example. Um, let's see uh, the other question. Um, how would you distribute? You said the supermarket. And how would you price your product? Okay, here, uh, Danny, I wanted to mention that, okay, we can say our product is cheap, but in English and even in Spanish, the word cheap, o cuando decimos barato, a veces puede ser como, se puede entender como con una connotación no tan positiva. So we can use a different word. In this case, in English, we can say affordable, okay? Affordable for everybody, okay? Let, affordable. Me, mm -hmm. let me write it in the chat so you can um, get it from there. Uh, we can say our product is affordable for everybody. What does that mean? It means that everybody can buy it, okay? For example, if it is 50 cents or 60 cents or even $1, maybe it, that is what we call affordable. So the word affordable, when we say affordable, we are saying that it is low price, right? That everybody can buy it but it has a more positive meaning than when we say cheap, okay? It's like the comfortable a comfortable price, like that. Exactly, ajá. Uh -huh. En español podemos decir es un precio cómodo, es un precio módico, es un precio que se ajusta al bolsillo. Eso, esa frase mm -hmm. usamos en español. Ah. Entonces, en inglés. Mm -hmm. inglés. Uh, for in the for Salvador. everyone. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Ajá, en el buen Salvador en las 3B. In the English, <laughs> it's no B. <laughs> no, in English, it's not, in, it's not the 3B. <laughs> okay. Well, everybody, let's give a clap to Danny and Gabriela for their good job, their effort to answer yeah, questions can. spontaneously. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, let's continue with our second group. In this case, we're going to ask a Mr. Gilberto's group and Sofia and Rebecca. No. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Good evening, partner, uh, my colleagues, and, and I choose. Volkswagen cars. What are you selling? We are selling cars with brand is considered high in Volkswagen Sabero. And who are you are selling to? We are selling the people who are able to pay for the quality, comfort, and maintaining for our car for one year. My partner. Hello, uh, my case is about the value. What value do you provide your customer? Mm -hmm. We provide the customer the experience to move in the safety, comfortable 
economy friendly and uh, fuel saving vehicle. Okay. In the dealer's point of sale, we have a workshop and we also have a after service checking any problem and using the origin original is fair parts. Okay. About how will uh, you distribute, distribute your product? Mm -hmm. There is there is no a producer uh, of the product in the country, so it will be distrib distributed through a dealer. And mm -hmm. how will how will you price your product? Our cars are priced per unit and the price is around the fifteen thousands. Around the, the fifty thousand. Yeah. Okay. And that's all. <laughs> okay, thank you. Just give me a second here. I'm going to I'm I'm typing here some of the words you use. For example, car dealer. The person or company that sells cars. Okay. Oh. And then I think you used. Oh my gosh, I forgot the other word that you, you were using. Ah, spare parts. Parts of in this case a car. You can you can use it for other machines as well. But in this case, because we're talking about cars, we can say parts of a car that um, are extra to replace when the original is broken. For example, the spare tire, spare tire. Right, it's an extra tire that you use when your original tire is um, flat. In this case, so spare is a synonym of extra. Okay. Okay. Okay, everybody, that's it for the group. Thank you. Their product in this case was a car. Okay, a uh, Wolfs Wolfsbahn. Sabe. Okay. Is it that is, is it that expensive? Fifty thousand dollars? Yes, teacher. Really? Very expensive. I thought it was it was a uh, or more affordable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you guys have a, a one of those? Who has a sabato? Sofia, Sofia. Ah, Sofia. So, Sofia has a Sabato. <laughs> Not yet, teacher. That <laughs> is in my plan. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Good. Well, uh, <laughs> let's see. We are missing Rodrigo and Julio. Let's go with Julio first. I think uh, you you were the only the only two groups, right? Missing. Let me see. Let me see. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Este, Rodrigo, en el chat está el, ya la parte final del producto. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Uh, but Teacher, yo voy con Roberto. No, I was saying that you two were missing, like the two groups. Ah, uh -huh. ah okay. In this case, okay. Julio Julio had to work almost on his own because Israel had ah, a technical okay. issue. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, go ahead, Julio. Okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. Do you listen Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, the product is pupusas. Mm -hmm. uh, 
resolving the, the question, uh, how will you distribute your product? Um, the product, uh, we sell our product in an own establishment and after we consider implement the delivered uh, service. Mm -hmm. uh, who are you selling to? Uh, our customers are local residents, regional residents, and foreign tourists and uh, tourists and all the pupusa enthusiasts. <laughs> I like that word, oh, enthusiasts. <laughs> okay. uh, uh, sorry, I, Israel is with me. Yeah. Ah, okay. Go ahead. The following question, Israel. Uh, the following question is, uh, let me find it. What value do you provide your customer? Mm -hmm. We offer a diverse range of pusa flavors to cater to different tastes. Mm -hmm. What are you selling? Pupusas. We include in traditional option and any unique, unique are specialty, specialty flavors. Mm -hmm. How will you price? How will you price your product? The price the product we research competitors and set their price competitively, taking into account factors such as ingredient cost and preparation time. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay, let me check some things here that. Probably your classmates are not familiar with. Let's see. Uh, you say we sell our product in a in our. Okay, I will say here we sell our product in our own establishment in our own establishment. Um, after we consider implementing the delivery service, regional residents, foreign tourists. Check the spelling for foreign, F-O-R-E-I. So instead of A, is I, foreign. Sorry, instead of A, is it's, it's E. e. Uh -huh. Aha, yes. E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Let's see, cater. I don't know if everybody knows this word, cater to, to cater to different tastes. Um. Israel, would you would you help us explaining the word cater? Well, cater in Spanish in Spanish. Spanish. No, not in Spanish. Explain it in Spanish. I will try to explain it because it's so different, it's difficult to me. For example, uh -huh. there is there is a catering company. Catering companies like they give you uh, for example, if you have a big party. They offer you all the food, all the waiters, mm -hmm. and drinks, or whatever. Mm -hmm. In Spanish, catering. No, no, uh, no, I don't remember right now because, but it's something like that. <laughs> okay, yeah. So when we say that it caters to, um, let's see what word you use to different tastes. It means that a. Um, Okay, cater to means uh, to provide choices for um, everyone in a way, right? Provide choices for everyone. Um, and you can use it for food. I mean, right, in this case, we're talking about food, but it can be used for other products as well, okay? Uh, for example, when you say to cater to your different needs, we are selling, okay, for example, someone is talking about shoes. We are selling shoes that cater to our customers' needs. For example, the elderly need a special kind of shoes, right? If you work at a hospital, like as a nurse, for example, you need a special kind of shoes. So in that context, you can also use the word cater, caters to your needs, right? So I wanted to emphasize on that, um, that phrase. Okay, well, 
Thank you, okay. every uh, well, thank you, Julio and Israel for sharing. Come on, everybody, let's cheer for your classmates. <laughs> thank you. Okay, um, let's see, Rodrigo. Rodrigo, um, who else? Me, teacher. Roberto. Um, there was someone else? No, only you two. Yes, Mauricio, I think, is listener. Ah, yes, you're right. Well, uh, in our case, uh, we are told about uh, our product or brand, Adoc, Adoc Shoes. So, uh, for the first question, how how will you distribute uh, our product? Uh, we're planning to distribute in on different sales stores. For example, Pardos, Adop Store, Hush Puppy Store, etc. Uh, who are you selling to? We are going to sell to all kinds of people, like students, industrial workers, office people, athletic person, etc. Okay. Uh, the following question is. Um... What value do you provide your customer? For example, quality, affordable prices, durability, innovation styles, and others. The following question, what are you selling? We are selling shoes, heels, boots, sandals, etc. Also, leather goods like shoe liners, belts, and backpacks. And the last question is, how will you price your product? The product are priced per unit or pair shoes, depending on the market segment. The price is, is between economic to expensive for high-end target. For example, in, in a dog, you can find different price and you can find uh, economic price, for example, um, for, 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 and, and other, and other brand of a dog, different mm -hmm. sandals. But when we are talking about high end, we can, mm -hmm. we can talk about hush popping, mm -hmm. caterpillar, and other. Uh, this is my participation, teacher. This is all about the topic. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, let's give a clap to uh, our classmates, Rodrigo and Roberto. Okay. Uh, <laughs> good. Okay, I like that you guys were, uh, for example, in the case of pricing the product, right? Uh, you made the difference between, and this is something we discussed when I visited your 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 group. Uh, like, uh, well, you took you took as an example, you took a look as an example, right? Where they sell different brands, different types, also, and uh, and also there are different prices, right? Uh, and these prices will depend on, I like this this idea of the market segment, right? Because um, there can be affordable prices and also a high-end, high-end uh, prices, of course, the quality as well. Uh, talking about a dog, taking a dog as an example, you may have seen that there are a, I mean, they have, the same shoe style, right? The same shoe style, but different brands and different in, of course, different quality, right? With his own, with his own brow, uh, brand. Exactly. For example, that of Cinco Milk. Mm -hmm. Or maybe Bracos and others. Or Burrito. Uh -huh. Or Burrito. Yes, do Bracos still exist? I haven't seen those shoes in a while. Yes, they still yes. exist. Ah, okay, okay. Like like tennis and mm. well, uh -huh. tennis and 
Eh, well, tacos. In other line, uh, maybe Magico González. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Magico González tacos. Yes. <laughs> there is a word for tacos. I don't remember them right now. Soccer. <laughs> I think soccer shoes. No, no, it's it's a different word. It's something like clots. Let me look it up. Okay. Uh, let's see. Soccer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tacos, but tacos eh, de food. <laughs> Me aparece solo el, ta el taco de comida y el taco de <laughs> Oh my gosh. Mexican tacos. Right. Okay, give me uh, now. It says heel shoes. The thing is that in some countries, for example, they call tacos, le dicen tacos a los tacones. Por eso que aquí me aparece como heels. Well, I will look it up and I'll share it with you later because I, I right now I can't find it. Um, okay, well, uh, I think this um, was a good activity in order to check uh, the price okay this this was the focus like implementing pricing strategies right right um the questions help you analyze right well what your product is and remember uh, some things like who you are selling it to will determine also the price right because for example there were very like you guys gave us a lot of choices like from cars to potato chips to um shoes a eh, pupusas so the product of course eh, influences but also the the who you are selling it to right uh like for example in the in the case of cars we know that there are different brands right that also go according to different audiences, different types of people who can afford. Like for example, in my case, I love a Toyota 4Runners, but right now I cannot afford Toyota, a Toyota 4Runner. <laughs> I can only afford my 2003 Toyota RAV4, <laughs> my old Toyota RAV4, but uh, yeah, I mean, there are different types of, um, and, and this is something that I was telling Rodrigo and Roberto in the case of high end, because this is something I explained in uh, last class in terms of this phrase, high end, that it means like the highest quality, right? For example, in terms of cars, can you give me some examples of high end brands for cars? Lamborghini. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, in, in terms of um, shoes. What could Nike. be a high-end brand for shoes? Nike, Nike Adidas. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just just so we can have it clear, right? Yes, Roberto. Were you going to say something else? No. Okay. Well, uh, no. let's see. Right now, uh, we have some more time, so we're going to. In this case, we're going to continue talking about. 
um, other, remember that all these uh, conversations and practices are still related to the four Ps. Remember last week we talked about the four Ps. Uh, well, this one focused on, on pricing and uh, there are also other Ps that we haven't checked yet. Okay, so let me share the screen here. Okay, so now we're going to practice a little bit with uh, this part, but first we're going to do our self-assessment. Okay, so take a minute and think about this, okay? Uh, the self-assessment is about uh, now I can analyze the product and price strategies of a famous national product or service, okay? Now, can you do it independently? Can you do it with occasional help or only with help? Okay, that is um, for you to consider. Now, something that I want to um, take a moment to talk about now that we have finished this activity is that, um, I would like you to tell me, like, maybe not right now, but uh, in a private message or in the WhatsApp group, um, like if you, when you do these kind of activities, right, where you have to put together ideas and think about uh, what you're going to say. In some cases, I know that uh, we have to think of it in Spanish first and then translate it to English. Uh, so all those difficulties that you have when you are creating your ideas, um, if you feel like you need uh, something extra or some help from my part, um, please feel free to do it, okay? Uh, because the, the time we meet here is only, well, two hours daily, but still, to in order to improve in the language, we need to be constantly exposed to the language, right? Um, so, if there is something I can help you with, something extra, please let me know, okay? I wanted you to be aware of that. Okay, so now we're going to work with this part, okay? Um, I said that we have been working with the four Ps. So in this case, we're going to focus on these two, place and promotion, okay? Recognize the components of the place and promotion strategies for a famous national product or service, okay? So we are going to continue like analyzing products and services, but in this case, with place and promotion. And uh, let's start with this question. Okay, um, what is the process of moving products from the producer to the intended use, sorry, to the intended user called? Okay, so how, in other words, how do we call the process of moving products from the producer to the intended, intended user? How do we call that process? Actually, it was included in one of the questions we have. Remember? Will be manufacturing. Uh, manufacturing is actually creating the product, putting it together. Mm -hmm. But in this case, we're talking about moving. How uh, who will you distribute your product? Aha, uh -huh. so distribution, yes. Yes, in this case, it's distribution. Moving products from the producer to the intended user, right? Like Boquita Diana, right? From over there, from Soyapango, right? The Diana manufacturer in this case, to um, the supermarkets, right? Or to the convenience stores. So yes, it's distribution. Mm -hmm. Or if we talk about the four Ps, would be place, 
right place, which has to do with distribution. Okay, very good. Now the second question, how important is placement to reaching the right target audience? So what is the role that in this case placement plays in order to reach the right target audience? What do you think? This is about your opinion. What do you think is the role that placement plays in order to reach the right target audience? In my opinion, teacher, it's very important the placement about the product because the company can can sell the product to to the client or the customer. It's very important the placement ubication the product. Ah, okay, very good. So it needs to be placed or distributed distributed. Um, probably first by studying right the geographic location right where the product is manufactured and how it will be moved to the place we want it to, to be sold, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Roberto. Well, we have a sample discussion here uh, where they mention some of these ideas, okay? Um, so we're going to go over this conversation together. And then, uh, well, I'm, I guess we are not going to be able to finish that part, the article part, but we're going to start checking some vocabulary, okay? So first, let's uh, check this conversation. So, Sophia is discussing some ideas about the place to distribute her product, okay? And we're going to practice the conversation. So um, I'm going to read it for you guys to check the pronunciation if you have doubts about some words, and then uh, we're going to practice it together, okay? So right now I'm just going to read it for you to listen. Okay, so Sophia says, I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You could sell your training courses online. People are always using their phones to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social networking sites and create enough interest in the courses so that people will buy them. Okay, now we're going to, I'm going to um, be asking some of you to practice the conversation, okay? So we're going to start, a, let's see, with Danny and... Let me see, Danny and Julio. Okay, Julio, go ahead. So Danny is Sofia and Julio is Arnold. Okay, teacher. Uh, um, I would like to say training course online. I am not sure mm -hmm. if serve them. Okay, I I, I'm sorry, but I was... Irrelevant. Aha, continue. Uh, I think uh, the place is actually irrelevant. Uh, you have to take advantage of access. What do you mean big access? Uh, you could sell your training courses uh, online. People are always using their, their phone to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your products 
from social networking site and create a node interest in the courses so that people will buy, will buy them. Okay, thank you. Very good. Um, and Okay, let's see. Danny, can you just practice this part, please? What do you mean by access? By access. By access. By okay, access. thank you. Well, uh, I'm going to ask one more pair to practice the conversation, and then I'm going to give you some words for you to look them up, okay? So let's see. Our next pair to practice will be... Uh, okay, Gabriela and Gilberto. Gabriela, could you start, please? Okay. Well, I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed it a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell to sell them i see in the place is actually irrelevant you have to take advantage of access what do you mean by, by access you could you could you could sell the training course online people are away always using their phone to sort the work and the learn new thing this is great because you can raise awareness about your product from social networking sites and create a new interest. The... Uh, the working create a new interest in the core so that people will buy them. Okay, thank you. Very good. Okay, so I'm writing in the chat some words that I need you to please look up, okay? So okay. the first phrase is training courses. Training courses. Training. Mm -hmm. training. Let me see another is take advantage. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. Develop. Because I don't understand the, the first paragraph because it says, I would like to sell training courses online. Uh -huh. When you say training courses, I mean something like a DVD or CD or something like that that you can play in your house or not. Mm, well, that could be an option, but nowadays with technology, that is not how it is. Well, maybe that's how it was done in the past. Okay, uh, but the, the thing is, when when the, 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 the paragraph said, but I'm not sure uh, if I should get a place like a store to sell them. Mm -hmm. I mean, how you're going to sell <laughs> training courses online, I mean, in a, in a store. I, that, is, that is a part that I really I don't understand the context of that paragraph. Ah, I see. Yes, you're right. I mean, this, I will say this example is a little exaggerate <laughs> in the sense that, um, I mean, I guess here the purpose is that they want to contrast, you know, the, the idea of having a physical place to sell something. Mm -hmm. and, and now that we have all the, well, the social networks and so on, uh, that is not necessary, right? That is the idea that I think they want to they want to show here. But I I see your point in the sense that uh, because of the product, it's a little contradicting, right? That you're going to sell something that is already virtual in a physical store, right? So it doesn't make a lot of sense. I know. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Yes, because it's a product that you, I mean, it's a virtual product, right? Um, so yes, I mean, probably in the past, I don't know, maybe in the 90s or even the 2000s, the early 2000s, people would do that, right? Like they would record a course 
and they will sell the DVDs or the, uh -huh, the VHS, <laughs> but not anymore. Um, okay, now let's see another phrase that I was going to take advantage. Um, ah, awareness, awareness. Um, I think, I think those are the, the terms. Okay. So we have training courses, a take advantage and awareness. Okay. Let's take, um, probably three minutes to check those terms, please. Can you look them up? Look and please share your um, your definitions or your synonyms or your examples in the chat, okay? Uh, Danny, I don't know if you had any question about this phrase, enough interest. Yes, we can. Um, in, in the context, and no interest, interest is no objective. Ah. Is a... mm -hmm. Yes, actually, actually, um, it is it is highlighted here because this is actually what we're going to be checking tomorrow. If you notice here, we have how to use enough with nouns, okay? Because... Oh, it, okay. Uh -huh. Because in this in this example, interest is a noun, mm -hmm. and this is something that I told you last last week. Remember when we were practicing adjective plus enough? Some of you gave me examples, like for example, I don't know, someone could say, "People don't have enough money to buy my product," for example. So, in that case, they are using this structure. We have enough plus a noun, in this case, money, enough money. So yes, okay. we're going to practice that tomorrow, this structure. Is mm -hmm. the noun. Yes, uh-huh. There is a difference, right? Because when you use the adjective, enough goes at the end. And when you use the noun, enough goes first, at the beginning, before the okay. noun. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check the definition okay. for these phrases, please. I don't know if anyone has the definition for training courses. What would be training courses? Okay, I don't know if everybody got my instruction, but I ask you to look up the phrases, training courses, take advantage, and awareness. So I don't know if someone already has, for example, the one for training course. No, not yet. Can you repeat? Sorry, go ahead. Yes, Sorry. no. Um, I gave you some some phrases from the conversation, 
actually there are three training courses a take advantage and awareness so i needed you to look them up check check the meaning so julio i don't know if you have something were you going yes. to share something yes. Yes, it's about uh, training courses. Hmm? Course, uh, it's a series of lessons of or lectures teaching the skill uh, that we need for a particular job or activity. Uh, in this case, we consider uh, training courses the um, and. The the act the currently a uh, course of English. Aha! Uh -huh, very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is a good example. So a training course could be for any any topic, any area, right? As long as uh, you well you you are learning a new skill. Very good. Very good definition. Thank you. Um, okay, how about take advantage? Does somebody have that definition? Take advantage. Teacher. Yes, Rebecca? Is about make a good use of or opportunity. Okay. Offered by something or someone. Okay. I like it too. Make a good use of the opportunity offered by someone, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. For example, if I tell you, please take advantage of this course or please take advantage of this class to practice and ask me questions. That means that you are making a good use of the opportunity that you have, in this case, through INSA4, right? To, to learn or to improve, in this case, English. Okay, next, awareness. Awareness. What's a synonym of awareness? When you get a prize? That is a word, Israel. A word. Oh. Uh huh. Did somebody else say something? The synonymous is about conscience. Conscience. Mm -hmm. Conscience. Teacher, could be when you have a, a knowledge about some topic or some something and have influence to another's. Uh -huh. uh, you, you know. Okay. Yes. To have the knowledge of some topic and uh, influence others to know about it. For example, when we say a create awareness about taking care of the, the environment, okay? So that is to, to know that something is wrong, right? And we can fix it and we can help other people understand that that is a problem and they can contribute to to solve it as well. So yes, basically awareness is to to be to know about a topic, right? And when you know, you can let other people know as well. You can share your knowledge with other people. Okay. Well, I don't know if there is any other question related to vocabulary. 
Um, otherwise, we're going to stop here. I'm just going to check attendance right now. And we can leave. Okay, Danny, Anthony, Sigüenza Ventura. Present teacher. Okay, Gilberto Benito, Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Eh, Jose Andrés Martinez Perez, he's a listener. Jose Israel Martino Rodriguez. Present teacher. Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Present teacher. Eh, Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. I think she's a listener. She's not feeling well. Um, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Here. Uh, Maria Leticia Galigeno Gonzalez. She's present teacher. Okay. Mauricio de Jesus Buruca Velasquez. Uh, yes, I see you there, Mauricio. Uh, you, I, I guess you're a listener. Okay, Rebecca, Maria Cardona Juarez. Present teacher. Y Roberto Carlos Gámez, Alvarenga. Present teacher. Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. He's a listener. Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez. Present teacher. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadí. Here, teacher. Excellent. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a nice night. Have a nice night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.